Hi, my name is Melissa Boyer and I'd like to show you how to make a Prezi presentation for your math class today. Uh, first, you need to sign in to your Prezi account, which I've already done. If you'd like to make a new one, click New Prezi and you can just choose your own title and description. But today, uh, I've already started one on the Triangle Sum Theorem, so you just click on it. It comes up in its own window. Then I can click on Edit Prezi. And you'll see this icon always come up. It means it's loading. This window, it's a little tutorial, it always comes up, so I'm just going to exit out on that. Notice how everything's a little bit too small for me to see, so I'm going to go ahead and click on the home, and it brings it all closer to me. First thing, you'll always see your title in the middle, and then I've already added in the description of what it is, a picture. The next thing I kind of like to show is a video. So I can click out here, I can click over here where it says insert, and then YouTube comes up with a window to put in the URL so I go to a video that I found proof triangles equal 180 I can go up here highlight right click click copy go back to my presentation make sure you double click in that area otherwise it will not paste correctly click paste it goes in there click OK and your video will show up over here well, I'm not sure if I want the video there, so the way I move things around in Prezi is I click once, I click and hold in the center of that zebra circle, and I move it to where I want. Well, I kind of want it over here. So, then click away from it, and that circle disappears, and that's where I want it. Over here, I have my example one. I already have it done. If you notice, you probably can't see right now, but I have my equation and my answer over here, so I don't have to write it down. It's already there for students to see. They just can't see it right away. So they'll never know it's there until it actually shows up in the presentation. But they'll be able to see it. What I want to do is add an example two. I already have the directions. Find the measure of each acute angle. Well, first thing I want to do is I want to add in the picture. So I'm already under insert. I want to click load file. I go down. I already have a problem made. I double click on that and it's uploading my picture. Well that covers everything I want there so that's definitely too big. Let me click on it once. These center circles I can click and pull it in and pull it out to resize the triangle however I want. Then I click in the center and I drag it to where I want. Now the next thing is I need to type in the equation and the answers for this. So I just click over here in the center of the circle so I can write. If I click once to the side and then it comes up with a text box, I know the equation for this one is 2x plus x minus 6 plus 90 equals 180. Then I click out of that. Uh, if I want to change the size, I click on it once and again I'm going to drag it really little there and then I want to turn it also just because I want to make my presentation turn around. Now I click somewhere I'm going to type in my answer which is x equals 32. Again click away from it, click on it once, drag it in, and I want to drag it closer to the actual equation. And then the answers for the actual measures of the angles are 64 and 26. Click away from it again, click on it, I'm going to push it in, then I hold on this outside of the circle, and I can drag it. Oh wait, that's not small enough because they can still see it. So I make it really small. Let me see if I can push these closer. Oh look, I can't exactly grab it because it's too small. So if I want to get to where I can see it, I click the plus sign over here, and then it makes this thing bigger. So I might be able to, yeah, let me make it a little bit bigger. So I can actually choose these things and I can drag it closer to my actual problem. Okay, let me click home because that'll quickly get me to the size that I want. And I have my presentation done. The last thing I need to do is click the path. So let me tell the program what order I want all this in. So I click path. Then we see we already have the one, two, whatever. Uh, highlighted. So first thing I want to show, I just click on the title. Then the next thing I wanted was the description, then maybe the proof, 
Oh, hold on. I want to actually show them what the equation is before I show them the proof. So I can click on this three, drag it out in the middle of nowhere, and drop it. And then it disappears. So I click on that picture there, which gives me a three, then here four. Now, these brackets here, I use to group these, the example one and the picture together, so I can see them both in the same screen. So instead of clicking on the picture, I'm going to click on the brackets, and that means it's going to show both of these together. Now I'm going to drag in closer, so I can actually choose my equation to show next and the answer. And look, before I can actually do my path to example two, I have not grouped them together, because what it will do if I click on example two, it'll show that first, and then the directions, and then the picture. So let me click over here to the center of this circle. If I want to frame it, that's what it's called, framing. If I want to group them together, I already have the brackets highlighted. So I can draw, click and drag a box around that, and now those are grouped together. I can go back to path. And then what I do, again, I click on the actual bracket, so all that will be shown at once. I want to go a little bit closer, so I can actually click on the equation next, and then the answer, and then the answer. And that would be the end of the presentation. Now, if you want to see it to make sure it looks like you want it to, click back on these circles, click on Show. I click on full screen and this will be what it looks like. Down here at the bottom we have arrows to go through the presentation. So I'm seeing the order that I think that I want. Video automatically plays. Notice I see all that at once. Now here's what I want to show you. Remember how small that equation was so the kids couldn't see it? Now they can. Same thing with the answer. Now let me go ahead and click exit to get out of here. Now see nothing's there just go ahead and put drag your arrow over to where that house was click on the house these things will automatically show up click over here on the circle last thing we need to do is make sure it's saved and go back exit is up here at the top so I click on exit and it goes back to the very beginning to my actual Prezi home and that's all you need to do to make a Prezi have fun <laughs>